You know, rafting businesses and other outdoor outfitters are ready to get their busy season going. So how is this spring snow affecting their business? And we had such a tease last week when it was so nice. Denver 7's Kyle Horan with team coverage for us tonight, heading up to Idaho Springs to find out. They're on standby for the winter storm. It's slow for a Monday, but they suspect over the next two days they'll be put to work. Even as the frost on trees melts even now. These drivers are on patrol just in case the snow starts sticking early. That melting snow will make it to area rivers, a good thing for rafting businesses. Rocky Mountain Whitewater Rafting. Two letters, two O O. Okay. <laughs> Ron Rodalunas just opened up for the season. Clear Creek is 100% natural in regards to there's no dams controlling the water um, and releasing it at certain times of day or anything like that. So we're dependent upon Mother Nature to provide for us uh, with snow and rain throughout the season. So multiple feet of snow sounds good to him. When the water's low, the rocks are high. So uh, you have to move, maneuver around those uh, rocks because they're now obstacles. The higher the water, the better. But for hikers... Right now we have a storm system coming in, and so we know that there's going to be snow in the upper elevations. Not so much. Yeah, we warn visitors who come in from out of the area and even on the front range that even though it might be a really nice day down in Denver, that there's often still up to two feet of snow, knee-deep snow, uh, on the trails above 10,000 feet through the middle of June. The hiking season may be pushed back, and early hikers should prepare for changing conditions. Kyle Horan, Denver 7.